What a wonderful and welcome or welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a really fun one for me and i hope for you too as well i personally really enjoy making these kinds of videos because i get to eat a lot of fun stuff and i also get to cook i started off not really enjoying cooking but i feel like i do like it it's very therapeutic it's very very fun so today i'm going to be making a bunch of recipes from bollywood and hollywood celebrities like just celebrities in general so i was on youtube a little bit on instagram and on the internet basically trying to find recipes that these celebrities make and they like for themselves and I'm going to be following these recipes and testing out these different food items. So yeah, if you're interested, then keep on watching. Okay, so recipe number one is from Gigi Hadid. It's her vodka pasta. Now this I feel like is the most popular one out of everything. I've seen this recipe popping up on my YouTube so many different times. People trying to recreate it and tasting it for themselves. I'm very, very excited to try this one out in particular. So let's try this one out. Okay, to start off, I'm going to be using some olive oil and to which I'm going to be adding some onions and garlic. Now, the original recipe called for some shallots. Um, shallots and onion are closely related. Um, shallots are only a little bit sweeter, but other than that, the taste is pretty similar. Um, it's a little bit difficult to find shallots, which is why I just went with onions. So I'm just going to let it sit until um, the onions get a little bit translucent. Then I went in and added some tomato paste and uh, mixed it all together i'm gonna make sure to link all the like measurements in the description box below in case you want to recreate this then we go in with the vodka one tablespoon of vodka and then just mix it all together again and then i'm gonna add in some heavy cream this is what makes it really creamy and really really yummy some chili flakes salt and pepper to season it and in the meanwhile you want to boil your pasta this is i believe called orkete pasta and you also want to reserve some pasta water you add that in as well some butter also and just mix it all together and as the final touch you want to add in some parmesan cheese um, mix it all together and as Gigi says it you mix it till the sauce is saucy okay so it's time for the taste test i am so excited i think this is the one dish that i'm really excited about i'm not gonna lie i have tried it a little bit while making the sauce but i obviously haven't tried like the whole deal um so yeah here it goes i anyway really enjoy pasta so i hope this is like a new recipe that i can make i'm not kidding this is so good it's honestly perfect like i wouldn't add anything i wouldn't remove anything from this dish the cheese is also perfect can't really taste the vodka in it i mean i don't think you're supposed to taste it anyways it's so creamy and like the flavors are perfect like it's not overwhelming so while making this entire dish i kept thinking of this one incident which was like I think 10 years ago when I was in school um, my cousin brother and I uh, we decided to ask my dad to get some rum because we wanted to make rum cake um, and like in the process of doing that we like wanted to actually try the rum like you know and we got caught doing that so I kept remembering and obviously I'm not encouraging um, like underage drinking at all we just wanted to see what the fuss was about we were curious um, but anyway <laughs> coming back to this pasta very very like irrelevant bilkul bhi koi like connection nahi hai isse but like food mein alcohol dalne se mujhe wo trigger hua wo memory but anyway this pasta is amazing you have to try this out for yourself next we have this grilled cheese recipe from Kylie Jenner now when i first saw this recipe i thought to myself do i even want to recreate it because of how simple it was but the bread that she uses and the cheese also that she uses is kind of different so i thought maybe it's worth the shot it is a very like straightforward basic recipe but I think let's test it out. Okay, so this is the bread that I ended up using. It's called a sardo bread and I couldn't find a loaf um, of it. So this is what I just used. I cut it up and then I started using lots of butter on it. She has asked to use lots and lots of butter after which I'm going to flip it on the other side and uh, use some cheese. So this is American cheese is what she called it. And then again, use some salt and pepper just to season it a tad bit. And then I'm going to keep it on a pan. She doesn't toast it. She actually um, like cooks it on a pan and you want to keep it on really really low flame to a point where your cheese kind of softens up and uh, starts melting and dripping almost you want to cook it on both the sides and then uh, you plate it up with some hot cheetos which is one of the main reasons why i wanted to have this dish okay so this is what the next dish looks like looks pretty good pretty decent i'm gonna take my first bite so honestly this is very dry 
I don't love it. I feel like there should have been something inside more to make it a little bit more like creamy. So I personally don't like it, but don't come at me. Okay, now moving on to the Bollywood celebrities. So the first one that we have is Alia Bhatt. I have done like an entire video um, trying out her meal for 24 hours, like the food that she eats. And I'm going to make sure to link that in the description box below. But um, as you guys might or might not know, she too has a YouTube channel of her own. And she has done previously videos where she cooks different meals that she eats. So I'm just referring to that video. And she she makes zucchini sabzi which is very different like I've never tried zucchini ki sabzi I've only had zucchini in like pasta or like lasagna stuff like that I've never had uski sabzi so this is going to be an interesting one so I'm gonna start off with a little bit of olive oil to which I'm gonna add some rye uske baad you want to add in some hing and kadi patta and then some mirchi like a very basic tadka recipe so far after which i'm gonna go in and add the zucchini which i have diced up as small as possible and then you just want to mix it all together and just cover it up for two minutes so that the zucchini can actually cook in the tadka after which i'm gonna add in the spices so we're gonna add some amchur powder some dhania powder garam masala and uh varyali ka powder like fennel powder Again, mix it all together and then we're also going to be adding some salt and coconut, like shredded coconut and that's that. Okay, time to taste the zucchini, South Indian zucchini sabzi which is made by Aditya. He's like pointing in the background to give me credit. So he's made this. So by the way, me personally, comment down below, I personally... I am not the type of person to stick to measurements. I like to like eyeball and like put whatever. Aditya was so meticulous. He was like, Aadha chamba chata, Aadha chamba chhi jayega. I was like, it's okay. Just take a pinch and throw it in. But he was like so particular about it. So let's try it out. It smells really good actually. Ek thode se mistake ho gai hai mere taraf se. Iski mene skin nikal di thi zukini ki. Jese kakdi ki nikal thai. I just assumed ki skin nikal nahi hai. Jabki nahi nikal nahi thi. So thoda aesthetic is compromised. But I don't think taste ka kuch farak pandne wala hai. It's really nice. It's damn good. Very healthy, very yummy. I don't know if you... Oh, it'll taste really nice with chawal. I can imagine, right? Chawal ke will be so good. But I really like it. It's very tasty. Again, this is another dish that I think you should try after the pasta. Good job. So, Jatin ne bhi abhi try kiya and he's a huge fan. He's like, I want the recipe. I'm gonna ask my mom to make it for me. So, big thumbs up actually for this one. Next, we have this recipe from Malaika Arora. I think she posted this on her Instagram. There's like a proper step-by-step uh, -step detail of how she does it. So, the dish that she makes is called Pani Aram. You can either make it savory or you can make it sweet. She makes it sweet. So, I'm just gonna make it like how she makes it. I've never tried this dish before. It looks like mini like pancakes almost. And it is like a sweet dish. So, let's try it out. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by mashing a banana with a fork. To which I'm gonna add a little bit of elite powder and then some jaggery powder um, and then some coconut tender like coconut and then again just mix it all together really really well you can add a little bit of water if you think it's very very thick and then some rice flour this is the main like ingredient which is going to hold the whole thing together and then I'm going to take this mini idli ka tray and then line it up with some ghee and um, just add the mixture and that's it Okay, so this is what my panirams look like. They look like, they look nothing like hers. I have slightly burnt them. Um, but I don't think it's too bad. Let's just hope that it tastes good. Hey, they taste nice. They actually do taste nice. But they're very like different banana-y flavor. I don't think I've ever like tried something like this. So I'm happy that I got to try something like this. I just wish I would have cooked them correctly. I think the pan that I used, I should have used more oil in it, maybe. But other than that, I think it's a nice dish. It's like pretty much healthy because it's jaggery. Hai isme. Banana ka bhi sweetness. Hai. I don't think there's anything unhealthy in this. So probably if you're craving something sweet, I think this is like a nice healthy dessert. We have another dessert. This is by Deepika Padukone. Now this isn't technically like a recipe. It's more like a concoction of like different like things that she found at home more like. Um, I think it's like a simple four ingredient recipe. It is a very like foolproof recipe because the ingredients, all of them on their own are really tasty. So let's try and combine them all and try them. Okay, so I started off with some mawa cake um, and then I added some vanilla ice cream, some digestive biscuits, which I just like crushed it up using my fingers and then of course nutella which just saves the day every single time and that's basically it time for our dessert i love vanilla ice cream and i love nutella 
Digestive biscuit, not so much. <laughs> but I think it's gonna be a nice one overall. Fab. Tastes amazing. And by the way, I'm not like a dessert person, someone who likes sweets. So if I'm saying this is good, it's good. It's like a comfort food, like very hard to like go wrong with this sort of combination. So the cake is not very sweet on its own. And it's very soft. The ice cream is really sweet. And then the biscuits add like a nice crunch and then obviously Nutella adds like a chocolate flavor. So I think everything just works really well. Raat ko kabhi sweet craving ho rahi hai. I feel like most of these things you will have at home other than the cake. But then you can easily like swiggy it. But it's a nice combination. I think it's worth trying. And the last recipe that I have is by Karan Johar. It is his hot chocolate recipe. Um, this I found on NDTV on their website. And apparently this is how he makes it. So I'm going to be trying it out. I think it's a perfect drink for this weather. I'm usually not like the biggest fan of hot chocolate. But I am actually looking forward to this one. I have been craving a little bit of like a hot drink um, in these Mumbai winters. <laughs> so let's try this out for ourselves. Okay, starting off with some butter, I'm going to add in some condensed milk, milk made ka condensed milk. I basically poured the whole thing in there and then some cocoa powder for the main like hot chocolate ingredient, mixing it all together. It took quite a while to mix it together. And then some walnuts, chopped walnuts, combine it all together. And then on top, we need to add some more walnuts. And that's that. Okay, so it's time for the hot chocolate. Um, I don't have a very good feeling about this only because of the condensed milk. It's so thick that you can't actually like drink it like a drink. It's more like a, like a thick, I don't even know what to call it. But it's very warm and also it has walnuts in it. I'm not the biggest fan of walnuts. So let's see how this goes. Do you see how like lumpy and like weird the consistency is? Also one hack while you're making this, make sure that you take the cocoa powder separately and you kind of break down the um, like the actual powder. Otherwise when you actually throw it inside the condensed milk, it becomes very clumpy and weird. It's not bad actually, it's really nice. I think. The condensed milk kind of saves it all. Tastes nice. So talking about condensed milk, when I told um, Aditya and Jatin, I was talking to them about this recipe. Both of them kind of freaked out about condensed milk. Like they love condensed milk. If you're someone who really likes, like enjoys condensed milk yourself, just on its own, comment down below. I personally have never really, like you know, had, actually I've never really tried it. Today was the first time that I tried it. So it's nice. It's just very sweet. It's just like a sugary liquid. Hmm, but okay. I don't love it. Of course. It's hot chocolate. It's, it's supposed to be hot. hot. Very hot. And yeah, that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this food video after a while. I think the last one that I did was in my birthday series. So back in September. But I hope to do more of these this year. And I hope you guys try these recipes out for yourself as well. Especially the pasta recipe. It was amazing. In the meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, follow me on my Instagram, follow Simba Lifestyle, follow Skion, and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!